Oh. Wombat Jones for Ramen Chokehold. I'm here with Kit the Killer Campbell, who is the reigning and defending Hex Fight Series welterweight champion who takes on Matt the Viper Vale, March 23rd, Melbourne Pavilion. Kit, how are you going, champion? Good, Wombat. Appreciate you taking your time out to interview me. No, mate, it's my pleasure. Thanks so much for coming on. Now, mate, let's get straight into it. Now, a lot of people know you for your devastating striking game, and I've been doing my research uh, today, obviously, for the interview, and and I've got to tell you, you know, you you put on a bit of a uh, bit of a striking performance, but but really, no one really knows that you got a judo background. So, why don't you tell me about your your roots in judo, mate? That's where my career first started in martial arts with my judo. So, I used to compete nationally in judo, and not only in judo, I you know did a lot of wrestling, a lot of freestyle wrestling, a lot of competitions, BJJ too. So, um, yeah, my, my forte is my grappling, but um, over the years I've come to, come to love my striking. You know, I, I really just want to knock everyone out now, so I'm going to use my striking. Yeah, nice. And, mate, so what's the, what's the first sort of memories of MMA? What's the first card that comes into your brain? I remember watching it as a kid. On, I think it was on Channel 1. And it popped up, and I think it was, G it was a GSP fight. I, I forget who was fighting, but I, I was just intrigued since then and you know i'd always managed to stay up till 10 o'clock at night just to watch watch the ufc i try to take after him you know he's very well rounded so you know i train in all areas and i, I make sure that everywhere is at 100 percent. nice mate and how did you make the leap from judo into mma just uh one day i just i, I just decided that i'll you know start i always did a bit of boxing but i, I decided to do a bit more striking and stuff and then Thought, why not just mix it together and jump straight in? Went straight professional, and since then done pretty well. So I'm not looking back now. Damn straight, you're doing pretty well, mate. And since you've joined Hex Fight Series, you've gone four and zero, and you won the title in your last fight. And yeah. your next fight coming up's undoubtedly your, your biggest test to date is um, Matt the Viper Vale, who's the current XFC Worldweight Champion. What do you What do you think about this matchup, mate? Um, it's someone that I've had my eye on for a long time now. Um, I sort of knew that this would come about. I mean, we're two top guys, so we're going to battle it out for that number one spot. And, you know, we're both hungry, so everyone knows where we both want to be, and that's in the UFC, and this is where we're going to have to do it to prove who deserves it. So that's sort of what it's come down to, and um, I'm not letting my title go to him. So, you know, I'm not going to let him beat me. And I, I believe I'm the number one contender, so, I, you know, I, I, I believe I'm ready for that UFC, UFC shot. And, uh, and Matt loves forward pressure just like you. I mean, like I said, I've done my research on both of you and, and I can see this sort of both of you coming into the middle and, and, and really getting on. So what do you think about the fight? What do you think about Matt's game? You see any holes in his game and uh, what are your predictions for the fight? That's what makes it interesting. You know, we're both pretty similar style. Um, I just believe that I've, I've got the skills to, to do him over. Yeah, I believe I'm going to be too quick on my feet. You know, he's been able to pressure these other guys, but I'm not these other guys. So, you know, he's going to experience something completely different in there. I'm going to be hitting with intention to kill every time and I'm going to be moving quick. So, you know, I'm going to be something he's never had to deal with before. And, mate, we know fight camps can get a little bit long and, and you know, in the tooth. And how do you stay motivated and, and, and that sort of putting in the work every day? I just enjoy what I do and I, I've got the vision in my head that helps drive me. And like I said, I enjoy what I do. I enjoy the people I'm around. So it makes an enjoyable experience for me. And you know, I, I like training hard. I like learning new things. I like bettering myself as a person. So, you know, that's just life. And um, I'm thankful that fighting's the the way that, that shows me on, you know, teaches you a lot of life lessons. So that's just life for me now, fighting. Now, mate, a little birdie whispers in my ear. And they tell me that the UFC has actually been in contact with you. So um, with this win, uh, you know, do you think that makes you the best welterweight in Australia? And, and do you think that's that's your next move? Well, I believe that, um, you know, me and Matt are at the top of the rankings in Australia at the moment. And this will really solidify that number one spot. So, you know, my aim now is just to get that win and, you know, take it from there if they... If, if they want me, they want me. If they don't, then I'll just keep fighting until until they want me. So, yeah. Nice, mate. And I don't know, you you probably don't know this, but I'm actually, I come from a chefing background and 
And the thing that gets me the most is weight cutting and, and what you guys have got to suffer when you're in fight camp. I want to know what's what's the thing that you crave the most? What's the thing that you 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 smash when you're out of camp, but when you're in camp, you can't touch it? Well, I've just finished training, so I smashed a bowl of pasta. So, you know, I, I, I try and enjoy what I do as much as I can. I don't like to punish my body too much in regards to food. So, you know, if I, if I eat a a lot of food then i'll just make sure i work extra hard the next day to you know keep my body at a stable weight if i can manage it at a stable weight then the weight cuts easy for me and that's what i do and you know i don't go too hard into the dieting sort of things i just enjoy enjoy what i do and being able to eat what i eat and um yeah i just ah, it sounds like you're living the martial artist lifestyle mate so um mate what what's going on in your camp at the moment who are you training with who do you want to give a shout out for helping you during this camp and um and 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 also sponsors and social media. So this is your time now to basically thank the people that are around you. Yeah. So you can catch me on uh, my athlete page on Facebook, just Kit the Killer Campbell. I'm on Instagram as Killer underscore Campbell. That's K I double L double A underscore Campbell. Um, my sponsor Ruka. These guys right here. They've been a massive help. Um, and my head coach, Tosca Petridis, you know, I wouldn't be where I am without him, you know, just mentally, physically, everything. In all aspects of my life, he's um, helped me out incredibly. He's a seven times world kickboxing champion. He fought in pride. Um, so, you know, I'm in good hands there and he's really looking after me and taking me on board. So, you know, just me and him are doing our own thing and I'm learning off him every single day. So, you know, each fight you see a different, different kick Campbell and this one, you're really going to see a different one. You know, we're putting in the work and learning a lot of new things that I'm pretty keen to try out. So, and yeah, my training partners, you know, guys like Jimmy Crute and stuff, the other Hex, Hex champion, like heavyweight, you know, getting some sparring in with him. And you know, I'm, I'm, I'm really pleased and happy with the way things are going right now. I think this is the best camp I'm going to have. I've been training for this for, you know, ages now. I hadn't had a fight locked in, but I've been training like I have. And that's all I intend to do. That's all I intend to keep doing, you know, training like I'm going to be in the UFC. So I'm setting that image in my head. Mate, that's fantastic. And I want to give one more shout out uh, to Susie. Thanks so much, Susie, for for helping us out here and getting this interview done. So, mate, I'm looking, I'm so looking forward to this fight. This fight is going to be absolute fire. It is at the Melbourne Pavilion, March 23rd, Hex Series. I think it's 13. So, guys, if you're in the Melbourne area, make sure you get your tickets. And, uh, and mate, I can't – hopefully we catch up uh, just before you fight, yeah? For sure, for sure. When I'm nice and angry, ready to kill someone. Oh, don't take it out on me, mate. I'm a lover, not a fighter. Who do you think is going to win? <laughs> ah, mate, you know what? I reckon the guy who's best on the night's going to win. How about that? <laughs> yes, <we'll> answer. <laughs> mate, I've watched too many MMA fights to know that who knows what's going to happen? <laughs> All right, buddy. Thanks so much, and we'll talk to you soon. Appreciate it, Wombat.